What's up everybody? My name is TF Brit and today I'm going to show you how to build this incredibly simple iron farm. Let's go. This incredibly simple iron farm is so cheap and a great way to get all that early game iron and I'm going to show you how to build it. Okay guys, so let's start with what you're gonna need. You're gonna need 10 and a half stacks of any solid building blocks. It does not have to be iron blocks, guys. That is just what I use for my tutorials. In addition to that, you're going to want about a stack of any job block you want. We are using fletching tables because that's what I clicked on in the creative menu. Uh, in addition to that, you're gonna want just under a stack of glass blocks. It can be any color. It can be any color, but it does need to be glass. <laughs> uh, in addition to that, you're gonna want 16 and three signs, nine hoppers, two slabs, two chests, and you're gonna want 20 beds. Okay guys, so if you are familiar with my channel at all, you know that I like to build from the bottom up. And how we're gonna get started is we are just going to build a three by three little collection area, just like that. And then we are going to frame out these hoppers with any kind of building block. This does not have to be iron blocks. I get a lot of questions like that in the comments. It doesn't have to be iron blocks. This is just what I use for my tutorials. You can use anything you want as long as it's a solid block. Then, now that you have used your chest, you can get rid of that and replace it with a slab. And that's gonna go right here. That way you can still open open up your chest just like that. Now you want to come to any of the walls and you want to build up three more blocks for a total of four. So that's one, two, three, four, and do that all the way around the entire collection system. Now you should have a pretty ugly box that looks exactly like this. So come inside and directly on top of the hoppers, you want to count up two blocks. That's one, Two, make sure you're crouching and place three signs on each other's face. Then you can come to either side and on the side of each sign, you want to place more signs. And yes, you will come to the opposite side and do the exact same thing. This is going to be holding the lava that is going to be killing the iron golems. Now just take your two lava buckets and you want one right there in that corner, one right there in that corner. Now to prevent the water from coming down into the collection system and destroying your lava, you want to put one sign right there and then on top of that sign, you want to do exactly what we did below and put three signs on each other's face come to the side and put three more signs and go to the opposite side and three more signs now at this point you can come to any of the corners and you want to build out seven blocks in each direction counting the block that's already there so that's one two three four five six and seven and come to that same block and do the same thing in this direction that's one two three four five six and seven and then do the same thing on the opposite corner that's one two three four five six and seven come to that same block one two three four five six and seven now you just want to connect all that up and make a massive square this is what the farm should be looking like at this point now you can come down to any corner that you want and build out one and up one and you want to build out a three block perimeter all the way around the platform that you just built and we are just about done with the spawn area all we have to do is build one more wall all the way around that's just one block wide this is what the final product should look like. And just to make sure that you have it correct, you have one block on the very edge, and then it comes over one and down one, and it's three blocks wide, and then over one and down one, and this is seven blocks all the way to the three by three kill area. Now at this point, you can come to the corner and put one block in each corner, and then we are going to start laying down the water. Now, the easiest way to place in the water and know that you're doing it correctly is to start with the corners and the corners kind of tell you where you can and cannot place a water source. So you see how it comes over one block from the corner? That means you don't want a water source here and you don't want a water source here. Instead, you wanna come over one more block and from this block all the way over, you can put water sources. And then just like that corner, it comes over one from the corner block, which means you don't want a water source here, but you can put one right there and and as you can see, that straightened out all the water and you just want to do that for all 
the sides. And now that we have all the water sources placed properly and everything's flowing to the center, we want to come to the corner of the 3x3 three three collection area and build up three blocks. And then we want to frame out the collection area two blocks wide, and this is going to be where we are placing the beds for the villagers. Uh, beds do equal villagers, so what that means is if, if you have 20 beds, you want to have 20 villagers. That will increase the amount of iron golems you get in this farm. Now to lay down the bed, just come to any of the corners and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Then you can remove all the solid blocks underneath the beds. This next part is stupid simple. All you want to do is come to the corner of where the beds are and place down a glass block. And then you want to cover up all of the beds with glass. And that's, that includes the three by three collection hole. Once you have all the glass placed, now you want to build walls made out of the cheapest uh, job block that you can find that's a solid block. We are using fletching tables because that was the block that I grabbed in the creative menu. And then just build that up two blocks high all the way around the glass just as I am doing right now. Remember back when I said beds equal villagers? Well, you have 20 beds, so you're going to want 20 villagers. And we can just start throwing them in with whatever method you want. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You don't want that guy. Kill him. Um, so that's going to bring us back down to nine, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. No, why? Not another one and 20. <laughs> now, all we have to do is wait, and iron golems are gonna start spawning like crazy. And it's been just about 60 seconds, and there is our very first iron golem. So just like that, guys, that's the entire farm completely finished. And this is about what you can expect after AFKing for one hour. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you really liked it, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.